Greetings programs! I'm Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 16 of a Swedish learning to play run uh, with no mods and no DLC because there isn't any. Oh, Steam Engine's about to time out. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> uh, we did... I looked a little bit into the unproductive trade routes. It basically just means that it's more expensive to import it than it is to sell it on the markets. It means that the traders at the uh, trade center are not making money off that particular item, but it, excuse me, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not making money overall. So in this case, uh, it's on, it's on goods that I'm importing for basic needs. So I'm okay if the traders aren't making money off of them. Uh, as the goods are still reaching my, my citizens and, and meeting their basic needs. You can tell the productivity is still... Uh, it looks like, is this? if I understand this correctly, this is... How much each person is making like how much they're producing versus how much they're i don't think all right so 20 pounds a year and they're earning 19.2 pounds a year shopkeepers are <clears throat> so i think <clears throat> wages tariffs Infrastructure usage. So it's still positive. So I think that's that's good. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. I, I kind of wish it would quit showing up, actually. The expensive government goods, on the other hand, I feel like I need to do something about. Nothing's under construction. Oh, goodness. I would use a lot more dye and sulfur there. Uh, let's see, I'd use more tools and coal. <clears throat> and employ fewer laborers. I don't think that's what I want to do just yet. I want my people to be employed right now. Um, so... I wouldn't have the sulfur. Where, I think one of my regions over here is a sulfur region, right? Yes, we've got some sulfur mines in Patagonia, uh, sulfur in Swedish Mendoza, and in Buenos... No, nothing in Buenos Aires. <clears throat> they don't have any bonuses, neither do these guys. These guys do not have... Oh, they do have coal. Okay. They do not have the infrastructure. They do, but they don't have the peasants. Grr. Oh man, what is, do I really want to, I don't want to build railways all the way down here. It would employ three, four, five thousand. Yeah, I don't have I don't have enough peasants for this either. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, where am I gonna get the sulfur? Where am I gonna get the sulfur? There's just not enough people down here. <laughs> Let's see. 
Do I have, I think I have, don't I have some sulfur mines up here somewhere? Or was I, I don't think so. I feel like I should be clicking these every time they're at, like they are maxed out on both of these. I want to just automatically expand them. Cash reserves, market access. Is this wise to just auto expand? Is this going to use up, like, will it take my infrastructure into account as well? Yeah, see, I don't have enough infrastructure here. Yeah, I need to get some more, I need to get some railways. I got, let's see, how many peasants will it employ? 5,000? All right, let's get some railways going. Uh, let's see. Okay. Do I want to I feel like I got a lot of things popping up here? Uh let's see. It costs two hundred to maintain an alliance here. Diplomatic pact. Always side with each other in diplomatic plays regardless if the other side maintains an active interest. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. We want to get on their good side. Uh, can do attitude. The soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. Let's see. Lack of can opening technology. Or 1400 in government expenses. Dang it, stop. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'd lose two, and they're already at four. So I wouldn't... That just puts me that much further away from patriotic fervor. Uh, and it only lasts for five years. So I don't want to... I can't... I don't want to take on the expense right now. They'll figure it out. Uh, the Rise of Radicalism. No leadership of Is... Oh my goodness. Under the leadership of Isak... Sorry, you might not have heard that. The sound effect for this pop-up was a little bit... Uh, noisy, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, under the leadership of Isak Holmgren. The Radical Movement is becoming very widespread. Let's see, I can support the conservative establishment. Oh, they're looking for... Let's see. Oh, come on already. Dang it. There we go. Support the conservative establishment. Let's see. Holmgren would gain some popularity. He's an industrialist. 
Uh, we get suppressed radicals. Minus 10 suppression impact. 20% become loyal, 5% more radical and more radical. Or we can support the radical movement where he permanently gains some popularity. Uh, either way, he's getting popular. Uh, let's see. Aulus Kiger is an intelligentsia and he would switch sides. and some popularity. And 5% of pops in Sweden become more radical. Yikes. What's going on with my government these days? Who did I just move in here? The industrialists, okay. Oh wow, look at them. And we will boot the petite bourgeoisie. I got everybody in government. What is the point to even having opposition and everybody but the trade unions? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Is there a downside to this? Eh, let's just see what happens. We'll we'll confirm that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Call for a liberal revolution is spreading across the world. Uh, at least one of these. What is it if completed? The revolutionary victory triggers the event, the revolution victorious. If completed with a reactionary victory, revolution vanquished. Will complete if at least one of these. To complete with a revolutionary victory, all of these. Any Swedish interest group is part of the government has ideology. Sweden does not have monarchy. Sweden has enacted census suffrage and universal suffrage. Okay. The revolution victorious. All right, so I need to get rid of the monarchy and enact census suffrage and universal suffrage. Okay. Cool, cool. We'll time out nine years. Okay, let's go ahead and support the radical movement. That's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, and then what did it say I needed? Monarchy does not have monarchy and at least census and universal. Okay. So we can go with a presidential republic or a parliamentary republic. Let's see, it looks like it's the same either way. 
Intelligentsia and the trade unions. And I will piss off the church and the landowners. And the per, per, petite bourgeoisie. Same thing here, except this time it's the trade unions and the intelligentsia. Intelligentsia trade union. Oh, same thing. Okay, either way. Okay. So, 100 authority, 20% government ideology penalty. What is that? 20 legitimacy from votes. Okay. And here I just get legitimacy. Uh, let's see the authority. I don't. I don't know what this government ideology penalty is. Let's go with the parliamentary. You know what? Let's see what Denmark is. Denmark is a. They're a monarchy. Uh, I like the idea of a parliamentary republic. So let's go. Okay, so that's that was a 20%. What were some of the others? I need the census suffrage and women's. So, oh my. That's a ways away. Requires feminism. Requires human rights. Okay, I could start working on human rights. Five years. Five years for feminism. Five years for human rights, so that's ten years. And this times out in nine. And then universal suffrage. Uh, I think that was a voting thing. Oops. Where is universal suffrage? It's right down here. Ooh, 39% chance on that one. Let's see. I would radicalize the landowners. Trade unions would, would be happy. <clears throat> wait, census suffrage or universe? Oh no, wait, not women's suffrage. I just I see the word suffrage and I automatically think um women's suffrage. Uh, census suffrage or and universe. Oh, at least one of the following. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sorry, all you guys that were screaming at me in the comments. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think that's the distribution of power. Yeah, okay. So census suffrage gives us... Let's see if there's any difference in... Let's see. Olas Tiger, Intelligentsia, and the Industrialists. Intelligentsia and the Industrialists are happy... And both instances, yes, piss off the landowners. Okay. 50 authority, 30 political strength, 15 wealth, plus 10% government ideology penalty, legitimacy, legitimacy, unlocks women's suffrage, <clears throat> causes parties to emerge, oh boy, 20 political strength, legitimacy, and 100 legitimacy. So I get more legitimacy, so that's cool. This, however, gives me political strength, gives me authority, but it gives me that ideology penalty. 
Oh, this is supported by three interest groups. It's the third one. Trade unions. All right, let's go for universal suffrage. <clears throat> we'll get universal suffrage going, and then um, we'll switch over from monarchy to parliamentary republic. Okay. So that's a good good spot to stop it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have so far. If you have, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As usual, I would appreciate it. Uh, we're up to 250 subscribers as of this recording, and I'm pretty sure I still owe you guys a 100 subscriber video. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a little behind on that. Uh, thanks, guys. Anyways, always remember, sometimes you win... And sometimes you learn. I hope we've all learned something today. And I will see you guys next time.